It's unfolding. There is movement, but you just may not see it, but you have to trust it. You have to have blind faith in the process. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In case you're new here, my name is Kim. This is Core Union. And I want to talk about how important it is that when you are about to give up, you realize that this is your opportunity not to give up on what it is that you're manifesting, whether it's a loving, healthy, strong relationship with your specific person or the money that you deserve, whether it is through a new business, an invention, anything that you're inspired to do that's literally coming from way deep down in the core of you, in your soul, in your heart of hearts, whatever that is that literally makes you like want to leap out of your seat because you are so inspired and it feels so strong, like this is who I am, that is already done, it already exists. I think uh, I'm not quoting Neville Goddard word for word because this is just kind of, I'm just saying all of this off the cuff right now, but the only reason you aren't experiencing it is because you're refusing to see yourself as having it, as being the person that has it. It is literally just your self-concept. Your 3D reality is your self-concept being mirrored back to you. So I want to talk a little bit about thinking from and feeling from already being the version of you that has whatever it is that is deep down in your core, because that is who you truly are. The lies that are surrounding it, the fears, the worries, the doubts, the things that are springing up in your 3D reality are just there to remind you who you truly are. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about this. So please do like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you love my content. And if you just want help learning how to be the version of you that has everything that you deserve, feel free to email me at Kim at CoreUnion.com and I'll reply back with my first available. You then book everything. Well, you have to book your session through my website, CoreUnion.com. You can either do a 30-minute session, a 60-minute session, or a package. The package just makes regular meeting with me so I can hold you accountable. Extremely affordable. It's almost too affordable from my perspective, and I'm not just saying that. It's the truth. A lot of times when people are learning how to manifest, they get caught up in so much of their ego mind, and sometimes they surrender to the process. And by surrendering, I mean that they detach from their old ego self and the old stories, and they trust in the process, they trust in God, they trust in their own abilities, and they surrender and they just know that I understand the process. And some people are able to subscribe to that very easily. Some people, they have a bit of a challenge. Other people believe it at first, but because somewhere along the line with their foundational understanding of the process, they were trying to build a house on sand, so to speak. So in other words, they didn't have a strong foundation of an understanding, that deeper understanding of how things are actually being reflected back to us in our 3D. Like what is the purpose of all of this? And a lot of times when people are just learning, they're constantly worrying about whether they're doing it right they're constantly worrying if this is actually going to happen. Am I wasting my time? I don't want to expect something to be disappointed. Or they're constantly, because they don't see it unfolding right away, they're always noticing that it's not unfolding. And then the other thing is they're concerned because they aren't quite feeling it. And they read somewhere or they heard somewhere that feeling is the secret. And so they get worried and nervous because they're not actually able to feel it. I want just to say this to you, okay? I believe from my perspective, and I've manifested so many things in my reality. I have been honing this understanding since 2005. I've been reverse engineering this. When I made the decision to accept this, I put myself through learning through life and reverse engineering everything, and really noticing the patterns and applying what I learned immediately to see if there was a different result, and there was. I didn't 
learn about this through books. I didn't learn about it through YouTube. YouTube didn't even exist. At least I didn't know if it did exist. I wasn't aware of it. I don't even know when YouTube came about. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is there's nothing wrong with learning through YouTube. In fact, it's a gift. It is, it is a gift that you can learn so many things about life through YouTube. I love YouTube and our technology. Now, the deeper understanding actually comes from within. It comes from your soul. It comes from the feelings. Beneath your ego of your fear or your worry or your doubt telling you that you're not worthy of having this or, you that, or that you don't deserve it or that you're not good enough or the part of you that's trying to protect yourself by keeping you from being who you were meant to be. That part of you is keeping you down. It's stopping you from having everything that you deserve. But it would be you being in your victim state if you stay stuck on that. And if you stay stuck in this delusion that you actually don't deserve to have, whatever it is. So from my perspe perspective, it is very important that you just trust in the process, that that is a deeper, that is a foundational part of this. You need to find a way to trust the process and to detach completely from all of the worries, fears, and doubts around whatever it is. And a lot of you guys, I know that a lot of you guys are hooked on like this fear and worry and doubt with your specific person because in the 3D, you heard exactly what your deepest and darkest fear was. And so you are ready to give up. As soon as it comes up, it's like, you're just like, you know, and I get it because I've been there. I understand what happens when we are being faced with our deepest and darkest fears. It really, it goes so deep and it hurts so much. And the spirals are very, very hard to pull ourselves out of it. But when it happens, it is so important. And I've said this now, I, I started this, phrase, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago that, and this is my thing that I just didn't like how Neville Goddard describes that your reality is dead, that it's already happened. It's already the, it is already done. It's solidified out of your past thoughts and beliefs. So you're seeing it, but it, you know, describing it as dead is kind of dark to me. And I tend to be more, you know, I'm more in my feminine light kind of goddess energy. <laughs> And I love flowers. So one morning I came up with the analogy that it's from my perspective. I liked, I prefer to think of it as dead flowers, cut flowers from the garden. They're beautiful and they're in my vase and they're dead, <laughs> but they're going to bloom. And it's just a matter of time that they're going to wither away and go away. They are cut off from the root. Your 3D experience, if it's opposing you with your specific person, for example, or with getting the promotion you deserve, the money that you deserve, because you do deserve it, okay? No matter what it is, the success that you deserve, it doesn't matter how many times you've tried. It doesn't matter how many times you've failed. When you actually go into this deeper understanding and you do allow yourself to think feelingly with trust and surrender, immersing yourself deeply into the wish fulfilled when you feel sleepy and you put yourself into that sleepy place because you're nice, cool, calm, and collected. And that goes deeply into your subconscious and your subconscious absorbs it all like a sponge. And whatever your subconscious is absorbing like a sponge becomes your beliefs. And then your reality becomes your beliefs. And then your 3D experience becomes your beliefs. It becomes you. Your reality conforms to your subconscious beliefs. Your self-concept is shown to you through your 3D reality. So going back again to when your specific person, for example, if you guys are coming out of a fight or a separation and you've been doing the inner work and you're feeling good, for the most part, you're feeling dominantly good. Get it. Feeling, feeling, thinking, feelingly, feeling it feeling from the version of you that already is in the relationship, that version of you is strong and secure and confident and happy and in love and feels that they are cherished and treasured and appreciated and valued and respected. That is the version of you, right? And then in your 3D, maybe you reach out to your person or maybe they reach out to you. Who knows what it is? And certainly you better be 
ignoring and not looking, trying to find evidence in your reality, because that is a big no-no. That is a mental diet issue. And you shouldn't do it because you're just torturing yourself because you're there seeking for evidence. And when you do that, you're coming from a place, you're feeling from a place of the version of you that does not have, that needs to seek for evidence. The version of you that's confident, secure, loved, adored, cherished in a healthy, strong relationship does not seek for evidence. That is just not in your, it is not in your, it's it's not you. It's so contrary to the real version of you. Okay, so again, you've done the inner work and in your reality, you get a heavy, harsh dose of the opposite. This is the moment where you actually persist. I'm not saying it's easy, so don't get me wrong. And I'm not shaming you because I've been there, but I'm coming at this with tough love today. When you get a dose of the opposite in your 3D reality, whether it comes to love, money, health, no matter what it is, this is the point where you need to see it for being the flowers that are in bloom, but you know they're going to wither away. They're not alive anymore. I choose to spend time knowing that this is an experience that is simply reflecting my fears. It is part of an old concept. It doesn't matter anymore because it's no longer who I am. But yes, I feel scared. I feel alone. I feel frustrated. I don't feel safe. I don't feel secure. These are all parts of my ego. And if I listen to them, I'm going to keep myself down. I'm going to repress what I really want and deserve in life. Whether it's the love that I want and deserve with my other half, or whether it's the money that I deserve, I'm going to keep myself from wanting these things. And I'm going to put myself in a box. And it's almost like being in a prison. So free yourself. You need to break free from the old version of you. Because you are, it's your ego, just keeping yourself down and not allowing yourself to just be and enjoy and love life. And you deserve everything that is deep down in your soul. Whether it's with your specific person or money, health, or whatever it is that deep down in your soul, you know this is part of who you are. This is part of your purpose. When it comes to you experiencing the opposite in your 3D reality, it's not set in stone. Everything is malleable and it changes and it conforms to your belief system. You were not created to suffer. You were not created to be in pain. And by the way, before I end this, remember that when you are feeling good, it's all literally unfolding as we speak in that exact moment. It's unfolding. There is movement, but you just may not see it, but you have to trust it. You have to have blind faith in the process. Anyway, I love you so much. Re reach out to me if you need me. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>